Good morning, guys. Um, I want to talk about the celery juice and kind of show you how I do it. Um, I woke up this morning and my face looked great, but then I went to take the kids to school and it got red just from driving in the car and the sun hitting my face slightly. So I've got to figure out how to get sunscreen on my face without making the rash worse because anytime I put makeup on it, it made it worse and I vowed not to put anything on my face until I was done with antibiotics and everything was gone and the antibiotics, antib antibiotics are helping, which is amazing. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> but like I said, I'm petrified to put anything on my face and my hats don't cover my head enough. So that's the first problem of my day, but the day seems like it's gonna be really good and I have like a really good feeling. So I'm gonna knock this video out and share about my celery juice and update you guys on my health journey and whatnot. So here we go. Okay, first you're gonna need a juicer. You can also blend, but you're gonna, it's gonna take more time, which is okay if you're okay with that. You'll just need like a nut milk bag to strain it. Um, I love this juicer. I got it for $99 and I'm going to link it in the description. And so you're going to need one entire bunch of celery. You're not going to use just a few stalks. This is actually a bunch and a half because the other bag of celery I got was looking a little sad. So I added another one and it's, this was like frozen. I don't know, some part in our fridge, like if you put it too close to the back, it, it freezes the food. Um, so it's still okay. I just cut the ends off and then now I'm going to wash it really good. And then we're going to put it through the juicer. glass you're going to want to juice at least one full bunch not a few stalks like I said that's how you're gonna and you know what if you get this juicer make sure you put this top on because it'll keep all the frothy yucky stuff out of your glass and you can just drink straight juice which is much easier obviously it tastes much better without thick stuff see how the thick it's starting to come on so a full glass, and you need to drink this immediately after making. You cannot make it ahead of time. Um, I know that's a little bit inconvenient, but if you really want to do this, you will find a way. I found a way to do it. Um, so yeah, and then you just need to drink it immediately. It doesn't taste, you know, like a delightful macchiato. It's going to taste like celery, and it's not going to be something where you are like, damn, that tastes good. Um, or you're just weird. I mean, I actually like the taste now. At first I was like uh, gagging a little bit, but I will give you a, um, a tip. Organic celery tastes a hundred times better. It's, it's incredible the difference. Um, regular celery does work. I couldn't find organic when I first started my juice journey. Um, and I definitely went through a really good detox, so it, it works. It just doesn't taste as good, I feel. All right, so let's go talk about the celery juice. And I will share a little bit about my health journey so far. Okay, so let's start this. Um, now, every morning, I wake up and I have a coffee and then I take the kids to school and I come home and I make my celery juice and then I will wait 15 to 20 minutes and then I will make a big Yeti full of cold water and one entire lemon, sometimes a little more than that, but lemon water is so, so, so important. Um, other than the obvious benefits of lemon water, um, the medical medium, Anthony William, he, um, he says that it will help restore a sluggish liver, which I believe that's what he said, a liver, right? Um, let's go to his page really quick. Reverses sluggish fatty livers, which your liver is so important. And you need to be flushing all of those toxins out of your body. And if your liver is sluggish, you can't do that the right way. 
So anyways, I highly suggest following the medical medium on Instagram. He posts amazing information. You can order his books. I ordered all of them on Amazon and just reading them. Reading them and following him and seeing his success stories, like real success stories. For example, this one girl who is suffering from eczema so bad on her face. It just reminded me of what my feet looked like when I was off of Remicade and the Remicade gave me psoriasis. Um, that is a real story that she is sharing on her Instagram account and success stories that are real like that give you so much hope. So if you're going to start a health journey like this like I did you have to be in the right headspace and you have to be dedicated and just know that like this is what you're doing this is your time because I've tried it many many times before never stuck never worked because I was not I was not accepting um, so I am accepting now and I'm so excited you guys I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm finally Crohn's symptoms free with no medication. I have lived on steroids for about seven years. I got off of my steroids, um, has it been two months now? Almost two months, a month and a half. And I was in bad shape. I was not in remission when I got off of my steroids. Um, and the fact that celery juice in a week cured me. I, I use that because I'm afraid to say cure and people say, oh my God, you're not a doctor. How do you know you're cured? But I don't, you know. So anyways, I have no pain. I have no bathroom issues. Sorry, is my bra showing? How embarrassing. Oh my God, girl. Button that up. But then I look like a farmer, so I'll just have to sit up straight. Um, literally absorbing all of my nutrients, have not lost any weight. I'm literally eating less because I'm not stuffing my face of cliff bars and all that crap, but I have not lost any weight and my skin feels great. It's my dermatitis, which was, I, I can't even show you photos because I deleted them all because, I mean, it was just red crawling out my face. It was terrible and it is, with the help of antibiotics, clearing up faster than I thought it would. Thank God. Thank you, God. Woo! Um, my psoriasis on my feet is clearing up. Not that it was as bad as it ever was. Um, it's usually just like dry skin on my foot. Thank God it hasn't been bad like it was like seven years ago. That was really rough. So anyways, my Crohn's symptoms, gone. I'm able to digest fruits and vegetables like I never have in my entire life. And I feel amazing. And I'm not on medication. I am on antibiotics right now for this crap on my face. But that's it. And typically when you're on antibiotics, um, you have to be freaking careful. It can cause a lot of gastrointestinal issues. And for somebody who was diagnosed with Crohn's, it's you got to be careful. And the fact that I'm having no issues is a miracle. And it's incredible. And it just gives me so much more confirmation than I, you know, even needed that celery juice is working. So celery juice, one whole bunch every morning on an empty stomach. You juice it or you can blend it and then strain it with a nut milk bag if you do not want to spend money on a juicer and you already have a blender. Highly, highly, highly suggest investing in a juicer. Mine was only $99, which is a, an investment. It's not, $100 is not cheap. Um, it may be to the 1%, but anyways, um, $99 is a good chunk of money and it's a good investment because I make fresh cucumber juice, which if you, like I said, follow Anthony, you can get a ton of amazing information from him. You don't even need to buy his books, but I highly recommend that. Um, cucumbers are incredible for your skin. And what is absolutely crazy is I started drinking my cucumber juice two days ago and immediately the next day, when I woke up, my face, the redness was almost gone. Okay, that's crazy. Why have I not been doing this before? Why have I not found, I mean, I, I can't live like that. I can't live in thinking, why haven't I done this before? Because you just have to live in the present, you have to live in now, and I'm grateful, and I'm happy, and I'm just so excited to finally feel healthy and alive again. I'm not tired, I'm not sleeping all day like I used to. I was extremely fatigued to the point where I would sleep all weekend and Chris would ask me, Taylor, are you, are you still tired? How could you still be tired? You've been in bed all night and all day and you just, 
unless you have been extremely fatigued from autoimmune diseases or whatever, you don't know what that's like and you it's okay that you can't understand and you can't relate, you can't sympathize with that. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm I'm okay with Chris not understanding. Um, it's not his fault. He doesn't have to deal with that, but I no longer have to deal with it either. So the first month of being on celery juice was rough and changing my diet was very hard. It is not easy and I'm not trying to make it look easy. I'm not trying to be like some inspirational freak that just does everything so gracefully. No, it didn't happen gracefully for me. I went through a bad detox, a bad, like I thought that I was going to the hospital with like a terrible case of the flu or something. Like my body was killing me. I had a fever. My spine and my head and my neck was on fire and it just would not stop hurting. And I didn't take any medication because I feel that when you're going through a detox or when you have a fever, you should not break that because that's your body's response. That's your body's natural response, um, you know, trying to get rid of the crap. Um, I used to eat like crap. I used to eat like crap. Notice I'm using the word crap and not S-H-I-T. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, and I eat now when I'm hungry, I'll grab fruit. Or I will make fresh avocado and use cucumber slices instead of chips. Um... I make a big plate of spinach and kale and uh, tomatoes and cucumbers and some fresh hummus and just I'm choosing better options and I'm full and I'm I feel good because number one I'm not in pain when I eat and number two I'm not running to the bathroom and I just it makes you it makes you feel so good to eat good. And it's not cool to promote, oh, I'm going to McDonald's because I'm tired and I'm going to get a coffee and, 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 this, and this crap blizzard thing. I get it. We're moms. We're tired. Even if you're not a mom, we're all tired. But if you take the time to nourish your body, you will not be so tired. You know? That's what makes sense to me. My camera's about to shut off. Hold, please. So... I'm just gonna tell you really quickly a few facts about the celery juice. Like I said, you can find all of this on the medical medium. I highly suggest following him. And you know what? Um, if you're gonna start this, you have to have an open mind. You have to be accepting. You have to literally say, this is going to heal me. This is going to be amazing for me. And I am actually going to do this with my full heart and my intention is to heal and grow. Now this has also been a spiritual journey for me as well. I've just, I've always been more down to earth and more of an old soul and just, I felt more mature than people my age and whatnot, but I really feel just like I found myself more. I feel more connected. I just, it, it, I can't even explain it. Um, but it, it has, it's crazy what this whole health journey that I started a month ago, maybe a little bit over a month ago, has totally flipped my world the right way up. You know, I felt upside down and I felt lost and I, I struggled a lot with being sad one day and then the next day I'm, I'm okay somewhat and then the next day I'm just, I'm, I'm terrible. And you know what? I'm tired of feeling bad. I was told that I have too much empathy for others, which I don't feel is a bad thing, but I do need to start living in the present and the now and stop thinking about things that happened or what could happen. And I need to, I need to accept what's going on with myself right now and not be thinking, God, there are children who are starving. You know, I, you should be thinking about those things, but not as much as I was. I think that was creating a lot of stress. Instagram creates a lot of stress for me that I have totally said no more. I'm grateful that it is my job and I make money doing it and I'm grateful for the people I've connected with and I will continue creating content, but I'm not going to stress myself out because that's not my life. My life, I cannot go out and take a picture of a, a, a new outfit every day. I can't pretend, I can't go on Sunday, Saturday, or one day of the week and take seven outfit pictures and then post it through the week and pretend like that's what I'm doing. I, I can't. No judgment to others who do it because that is your life and that's what you are doing and I... I'm happy that you're happy if you are happy, but that did not bring me joy. It did not make me feel fulfilled and happy. It made me sad and depressed, and I don't like that. 
I don't accept that. I am doing better now. I don't care. I'm going to create content like this. I'm going to create videos because I enjoy, like I said on Instagram, I do a lot of Instagram stories over creating pictures because I just feel that I cannot transfer my life in a photo as well as I can in a video. You can't see my personality. You can't see that I'm actually a good person. I'm actually like I like to I like to make people laugh. I like to have fun. But you can't see that in a picture. People have reached out saying, oh, I thought you were Miss Perfect until I watched your videos. Yeah, that's, I don't want that. I don't want people to think that I'm perfect because nobody's perfect. The camera's about to shut off again. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to finish here. I think I need to wrap this up. Um, but I do want to finish by saying that there are so many benefits of celery juice that you would not think. You would not ever think that it could just be a miracle worker. Um, and I noticed the first week like I said, how amazing it is. So I will never leave celery juice behind. Um, it's, it's, it's just incredible. So I highly um, suggest you read about it, do your research, try it. Uh, when I was telling Chris, I was like, there, you literally have a 50% chance that it's going to be amazing or 50% chance that it doesn't work for you. What are you going to lose besides the money you spent on celery? or a juicer, but also you can make your own fresh juices at home instead of going and spending, what is it, like $8 a juice, depending upon where you live. Here it's cheaper. In Florida, I would spend like $12 for a freaking juice. Um, but you can make like anything you want in your juicer. So it's really not that much of a lose situation. Um, another thing I wanted to say is that through this journey, I have learned that speaking positive things will bring positive outcomes in your life. Walking around talking about how you're jealous of this person or how dare they have this or why me or just speaking negative things or, and making your brain think about those negative things will bring more negative things in your life. Uh, I have noticed that every morning I wake up and I'm like, we're going to have a bomb ass day. I have a bomb ass day that day. I wake up and all day long I'm saying, God, I feel so good. Thank you, God. I feel so good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I feel healed. I am healed. I meditate or I sit throughout the day and I just think, I am healed. I don't care how crazy that sounds. It helps and it works. It does. I wrote little notes. Um, so... You are also worthy, like Anthony William has said. I totally have stolen this from him because it's so true. You are worthy of a beautiful life. You are worthy of a healthy life. You are, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be positive and you deserve to live a healthy life. So um, that's just, that's my mindset now. I've always been a kind person, but really dealing with negativity on the internet, I no longer give the haters a spotlight. If you want to be hateful, I will pray for you, and I will pray that you stop spending your time hating others. I will pray that you stop spending your time being negative, because it's only going to, it's not going to help your life. I'm still going to continue growing and being a good person, um, even though you're sending or saying negative things. I'm still going to be who I am. Um, you're not going to change anything other than you're, you could probably just bring your day down even more. Um, so yeah. That's about my celery juice. If I miss anything, leave me a comment down below. You know you can reach out to me anytime. I love hearing from all of you guys. Send me an email, comment, write me on Instagram. It doesn't matter. I love you guys. I'm going to go run some errands before I have to go get the kids from school. I might bring you guys along. I asked earlier on Instagram stories what kind of videos you guys would like to see, and you loved my vlog, and you like to see like just out and about running errands, so I think I'm going to try and go get my nails and my toes fixed, and then run into the grocery store if I have time. I really do need to charge my camera, though, so who knows if this is going to work out today. I don't know. Leave me comments. I love you guys. Bye. That was weird, right? Leave me comments. <laughs> I'm not good at this YouTube thing yet. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love all of you, and I'll see you next time.